All right, so we got some pretty exciting news for you guys. We just crushed out the two portages between the Mean East, sorry, I mean the Big East, and McCraney Lake, and guess what? The boys made it. We're freaking on McCraney Lake. We're on the map, we're in Algonquin Park, and uh, those are a couple of really tough portages coming. <laughs> the second one coming into McCraney was just all uphill. It was like climbing a mountain. It's 3.30 right now on day three. And we're just gonna keep plugging ahead. And we're just happy to be in portage country with signs. We just finished our 1.8 kilometer portage leaving McCraney Lake into Rain Lake. And we knew Randy from Algonquin Outfitters set us up with a food drop. And here she is. It's like a pinata. <laughs> Yo, smack it with a stick and see what comes out. Oh, that's nice and heavy. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's gonna make the bear barrel nice, eh? Yeah, let's get a boil going. Yeah, I'm down for a boil. I need some food. Alright. So it's getting towards the end of the day. And I know we're both pretty tired. We didn't quite reach as high of a kilometer mark today as we were hoping. But it was mainly because of the big east causing us so much of a slowdown. So hopefully we can make up that distance tomorrow. So we're pulling out at the last portage of the day. It's getting dark, probably about nine o'clock. Thunder clouds start coming. You can hear rumbling and then it starts lightning. Wind starts picking up. We know a storm is about to come. We didn't actually have a sight on this lake, but we just crossed our fingers and hope that there was one available. So we didn't get dumped on by all the rain come around the corner we have a beautiful site backs into like a nice flat area for the tent set up the tent everything's in there we're gonna be dry as a bone tonight now we're just watching the thunder come in and having a couple beverages it's nice every night we get about five ten minutes to, <laughs> to hang out <laughs> where we have no immediate tasks to do <laughs> just a nice couple minutes to reflect on the day and start wrapping your head around the next day Tomorrow we make it to the Nipissing River. We're gonna see what she's got for us. Hopefully this thunder uh, really quenches her thirst. Yeah. She's probably pretty dry right now. Yeah. Hopefully she gains like five inches. Yeah, five inches would be nice. I think I'm gonna go business casual today. With my collar long sleeve. Yeah? Man, for as much bushwhacking and physical labor that we did, I don't feel like I smell that bad. We just left our camp on Daisy Lake. Looks like we might get some weather today. It's extremely humid and not much of a wind. But yeah, we're... Our morning routine is really getting dialed in. Should be another long, fun day. Look excited or something. What's that? Look excited or something. I'm just thinking about all the portages today. One down though, man. Yeah, one down. <laughs> 25 to go. We're en route from Ralph Bice up to Tim Lake. And if you look on a map, it's just littered with portage. It's pretty much just a black line. And we just did two back-to-back -back 900s. We have a 1600 coming up and then three other smaller ones before Tim Lake. But we're both doing pretty well. It's tiring, it's, we're both soaked, but we're being efficient out here. Yeah. I just need to get through this 1600 because the small ones after that are just gonna be blinks, like But that yeah. 1600 is gonna be like that, that 900 I was feeling for sure. Yeah, we'll have to take our time and yeah. From portage number 10 of the day, 
heads down, don't think about it. Just freaking smoke the portages. Kick them. Man, we just busted out 13 portages. We finally made it to Tim Lake. We got some Noah's summer sausage. We're slicing up with some cheese and some moldy wraps because we, I don't know, the expiry date wasn't supposed to be yet, but maybe out here, it, it just can't handle it. So I just need to add some mustard to mine and this thing's ready to go. Currently en route to Big Bob from Tim Lake on Portage. Number 16. And the day's just getting started. Actually feeling a little tired though. <laughs> yeah, pretty pooped. But hey, what says I'm tired? Then another like six or ten more dodges and a, bu a bunch of wading up a beaver creek. <laughs> Let's have some fun. 17 portages later, we made it to Big Bob. Hey, show the kids back home a little smile. Give them some teeth. <laughs> Where's the river? That's a good question. So this is the other big variable we didn't know about this route, is the condition of the Nipissing River. Rumor has it that it'll be relatively dried up and overgrown with alders. So far, I don't even see an exit coming out of here. Twenty-two portages on the day. All right, so this is a slug. We've done 22 portages so far. The alder bushes have started to creep in, and this is just a respect to the river so that it respects us back. So we're just gonna do this little shot. It's raining right now. We hope the water level goes up a little bit, and then it's good to us so we can travel swiftly. Cheers. To the gods, the river gods. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to the river gods. Just been bushwhacking through all these overgrown alders on the nip. And she is thick. I'm soaked. Yeah, we got a lot of water in the boat just from hitting all these bushes and then it's just raining on us. So how far have we gone so far? Got about 1.32 kilometers in a straight line. And it's decently jagged, so let's call it 2K. So you like 10 more to do? Give or take? Yeah, give or take. <laughs> give or take 10. All right, we better get to it. Yeah. All right, so, last night, Noah and I were heading down the Nipissing River, and basically we, we thought we knew where we were on the map, and we thought we were close to a campsite. As it turns out, we weren't as close as we thought. Our GPS is doing some weird things. And with the amount of light that we had left in the day, we were kind of forced to pull over here. We were both basically freezing last night. So we had to pull up here and just sleep on this grassy patch. So would you say this is our most rugged point of the trip? I would say so. Last night got a little sketchy. It was raining, we were soaked. Pretty much what you see here is like the best we saw. And before this, it was just a tight river overgrown with alders. There's definitely some times last night we were questioning decisions. Yeah. Could be the long days. Oh, man. 
and she's wedged, eh? That is a big tree. Big, big. So we're currently on the 800 meter portage from the junction. And it looks like there may be a cabin along this trail. An old cabin. cabins were shelter huts strategically located throughout the Algonquin Park Winter Park. After a hard day of patrolling and maintaining the park's vast interior, the cabin was a welcome site for weary park rangers. Originally built in 1922 on the site of an old J.R. Booth lumber camp, it was home for two rangers for six years before being struck by lightning and burnt to the ground in July of 1928. Immediately after the fire, the cabin was reconstructed for $37.50. Careful examination of the site and your trip down the Nipissing River will reveal old foundations, dams, and logging chutes, now mere remnants of the Algonquin Park's rich logging heritage. That is so cool. Very cool. 37 bucks, you can make a place like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. That is not bad. So we're making pretty good time on the Nipissing River today. I think we're kind of warming up to the idea of poor dodging again after doing 23 yesterday. So I think this is our sixth portage today. We have to make some good distance today to make up for kind of our last two days. So you're molding all of them? Oh yeah, every single one. I think we just scratch them off. Yeah? Like what else are we gonna do? not eat bread. How can we have a sandwich then? I don't know, I think we can we can mix and match and make like a million dollar piece of bread. Like a million dollar man. That's what you need. So it's about six o'clock right now and we just made it to another portage on the Nip River. We've just been paddling along. It's been really nice, actually. We've racked up almost 40 kilometers worth of distance today, which is awesome. And uh, we're feeling good, so hopefully we can reach over 50 kilometers today, which would be a big day for us. Finishing up our final portage of the day. 800 meter. We're doing it in the dark. It's gotta be getting close to 9 or 9.30. And we're tired. Another long day today. But we crushed a good amount of distance. I think we should be finishing the day close to 50 kilometers, 48 or 49. We shall see.